Very nice. St Peter's Chapel used to be a major navigational mark, letting 50 generations of seafarers know that they've safely arrived at the mouth of the Blackwater. It was a symbol of a greater power. Now it's been totally eclipsed by an even more powerful building. Well, a pair of them really. Why do they build nuclear power stations in pairs? And like so many of them, terribly vulnerable to global warming. Guess if I've picked up radiation poisoning, it's going to be from you, isn't it, Bradwell Power Station? Because I've sailed in the waters which you've warmed for most of my life. There's a channel that's worth drifting up just to take a poker nose at the moored boats. Someone needs to intervene soon. Otherwise, Enchantress will be a basket case. Person shouldn't treat sails that way. There's a marina at Bradwell. Very nice it is too. They make the owners of trailer sailors welcome. Lots of interesting boats. Some old, some new, some just plain ugly. I've been accused of hating all motorboats. That is not true. Commercial fishing boats are fine. And here's one gentleman obeying the speed limit. And look at how modest his wash is. And here's a rib doing excellent work, training future yachtsmen and keeping the next generation on the path of true righteousness. Three sail training boats. Look at that. Three of them. Catches. If you time the tide right, you can nip across the mud banks and into the main part of the Blackwater. Wide enough for the barges to put on plenty of sail, and also safe enough to accommodate an open meeting of 120 cadets. It's always worth hanging around the Leward Mark at such events. The shouting is a wonderful thing to hear. There is a jury boat, but they'd need the wisdom of Solomon to work out who should be doing penalty 720s. But that's not the point really, is it? Very nice boat. <laughs> At low tide, there are several sinuous shingle banks that come right out into the channel. Favourite landing stages for contraband. A horse and farm cart could get right down to the water's edge. When carried out at night, no one would ever know what was going on. The customs men didn't stand a chance of catching the local smugglers. You could get a boat afloat without getting your feet too wet. <laughs> 